graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can use the oil paint filter to create interesting textures in Photoshop and I'm going to use the actual image and the oil paint effect as a texture. So got this image I'm just going to go to filter oil paint I'll get a bit of shine there so you can actually see some three-dimensional depth to it that's the key thing click OK and one thing with the oil paint filter I always find a couple of applications maybe in different angles as well just don't different settings Go around okay click OK now once I've actually done that I can actually go and save that as a file the key thing for textures, displacements, distortions, etc., uh, is a PSD file, Photoshop PSD file, and I'm just going to save it there. Replace that was one I did earlier. Now I'm just going to go back to the original, and I can quickly go over now to filter. And I'll just quickly show you the first one, and that's filter gallery. But could go to distort. You can see here you've got glass. Load texture, and that's the file. So you can just quickly load it like that, and there you have it. You basically, got smoothness. You've actually got the oil paint filter within, basically within the distort and glass. So you can modify that. But I'm just going to go back to the one that I actually wanted to show, which was texturizer, and there you have it. Also, the oil paint filter. You can see the actual effect of the oil paint filter applied basically within the texturizer which is and of course you can now change direction of the relief which is something you can't actually do particularly right click OK and there you have it and of course not only that you can actually go back into the filter or paint filter if you wish and repeat the process and you can obviously create some really pretty extreme oil paint effects as if the paint is smeared really down. It's not saying it always works brilliantly. Anyway, so the interesting effects. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.